Y'all, I did not want to get on here and talk about this, but I'm a mother, so we're going to get into it, okay? So, as you know, I have a 16-year-old son, and he's a wrestler. And he has been wrestling for several years. And throughout his wrestling career, as I've shared before, he also has held between a th uh, 3.9 and 4.0 overall GPA. Clap it up for our young black boys. So he had a banquet for wrestling. And during this banquet, they were to receive their varsity letters and their accolades. Super cute. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, they decided that they were going to go to Sky Zone so that they could have a little bit of fun uh, while they were also doing their award ceremony. So, and when he goes to pick him up and he comes back in the house, of course, I'm super excited. I want to know what happened. Tell me all about the events, everything that happened, everything that I ask him every day, all the time. And so he's like, uh, yeah, it was okay. I'm like, okay. Oh, this is super cute. Sorry. <laughs> you got the little scoop spoon right here. <laughs> and some little pads. I love this. This is supposed to help your skin to glow. Uh, glycolic acid and vitamins B3, B5, and E. And it's a daily exfoliating pad. Super cute. So I cleaned my face and now I'm about to go in with this. My first time using it, so super cute. Okay, sorry, y'all. So anyway... Um, he comes back home and he says, I don't really want to talk about it a whole lot. I was expecting to, I got my varsity letter like normal, he said, but uh, he's a sophomore. And he said, um, but I was expecting to get the honors award, the ac um, academic honors award. And I said, okay, well, you know, why didn't, why didn't you get it? What was the criteria? He says, I don't know. He says, but I said, well, you know, who do you know that got it? And so he told me a couple of, you know, his closer friends. And I said, well, what were their GPAs? He said, well, um, they said it was like, uh, a, th a 3.9 a 3.5 okay which is still a little bit higher than his and I'm like okay he said but it was like 10 or so awardees so I know I have to be in there and I'm like okay so you know we don't so my husband's like you know we'll just contact the coach and so on and so forth so husband did that the next day <laughs> the coach sends back a message he completely disregards the question which is what is the criteria to get this academic award because again if it was you know 3.9 and above or 3.1 and above and he just doesn't belong in the category then that's just what it is that's fine okay but he completely disregarded that and just said oh um well if he's you know should have been awarded and he you know should have gotten an award and so on and so forth and i'm like this feels this feels really good i kind of like that and it, it does look really glowy like i feel like i got makeup on and i don't okay this is doing something marie go get you some <laughs> anyway so um wow that is i'm gonna have to use that every day <laughs> We, he, he sent the coach sends a message back and he says, you know, uh, he should have been awarded possibly, um, you know, if he had this GPA or whatever, or he says he should have been awarded, um, uh, possibly, but we didn't know what his GPA was, whatever. Let me contact him. And I said, well, his GPA, you know, is a, um, you know, a 3.9, basically it's a 3.89, which you rounded up to 3.9. I said, so I, you know, what is the criteria? Because again, if he's supposed to be awarded or just want to be awarded, if, if not, fine. But the problem is, I need you to tell me what the criteria is. I don't want you to just give him an award just because he's he's a, a little upset about it. Because, again, he's completely distraught at this time because he's very into his studies. As you know, as a sophomore, I was not getting all A's. So to be getting all A's, mostly in a very high 89% B, he's doing all of the work. And he needs to be as the only, as, as the only black kid on the wrestling team. And one of the only black kids in his school, I'm talking 15 or less in a whole high school, he needs his accolades. And so um, I tell the coach, you know, what the GPA is because, again, my husband has sent the whole message before, but no, the response just wasn't giving all of the details that I needed him to give. And so I, again, of course, always letting my husband handle whatever first because I try not to fly off the handle, but then at the end I have to, because no, I need, I need more. And this is not the first time that he's dealt with things that seem discriminatory or that also seem to sometimes kind of single him out and I'm not gonna let that happen we've went through I, I have so many stories and we'll get to those at some point in time but right now as it applies to this I'm like no I need an answer as it applies to whatever 
So he sends this long drawn out email and in his email he does say um yeah it seems like he should have i'm not sure how we missed that and you know he should have gotten his you know, accolades and blah blah because blah, in my my original email i said you know the problem is even though y'all are gonna award him guess what he misses out on being up there on stage with all of the other people who received that award nobody else was missing theirs but he gets to miss the shine so you just giving him an award in private i'm not okay with that like you need to give him the award but then and something and i don't know if i'm just going too deep into it but i'm tired of always feeling like our black boys get snuffed or or our people it, you know in, in as a whole get snuffed on the experience of feeling you know all of the guts and glory of being um of being you know in the limelight and in the shine of you know receiving all of the accolades for all of the things that they've done all of the accomplishments and all of the hard work and it's just a slap on the wrist and i'm sorry and here's your award no i feel like that that saying that says you know your 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 apology needs to be as loud as your disrespect. And to me, that's what that was, oversight or not, which again, that's debatable. And so he eventually sends out a, a letter to, you know, all of the, the team and the, the parents or whatever, you know, saying that he missed, um, he he was in oversight and he should have been, um, he should have been awarded during the ceremony, da 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 da, -da, -da. And um, that they apologize and whatever, which again is a step up. I'm not really sure what else can be done, but I just feel some kind of way about it. Am I wrong? Am I being overly emotional and protective as a mom or should I be asking for something else? If you think that I should be saying more and doing more, tell me what it is that I need to do or what you would do in this situation because I, at the end of the day, want my son to feel, um, you know, I don't want him to... Um, feel like his accomplishments are not worth being uh are not worth being celebrated properly and that they're always going to overlook him because of his skin color or you know what and trying you know whitewash it into oh it wasn't a big deal it was just an oversight how if you're pulling all of the people that are on the team and you're going by gpa how do you oversight him like i'm it's, just, it's not making any sense but the skin is glowing, okay, Marie? Listen, I'm going to make sure that I tag this too in this serious video. Please make sure that you, in the, re in the comments, respond and let me know what it is that you think that I should be doing, okay? Because I need help.